My eyes have seen the truth. My eyes have my seen the truth. Felt the truth. My, my heart eyes have seen the truth. Speaks now. My heart has felt the truth. Speaks now. My mouth. It speaks the truth. In this country, so many misfortunes and mishaps that stem from people who cut throats and stack backs. People who put sugar in gas tanks and slice tires to flats. Handcuff innocent people, beat them with bats and stangers. Living in the future and the past, we can't go back and just deal with the reality. It's not where we're from. It's where we're at. And if you know what's in my heart, it's where we're at. Only in America. Can an elected president confess that he smoked weed? Can the world And walked away scot free when questioned under oath about a sexual relationship, and he was held. All the details only in America. Could we be taught in an educational system that misleads our youth? I learned that in 1492, Christopher Columbus discovered America, but I was 20 years old when I learned the truth. And I also learned that he didn't discover anything. There was life existing here, but that is fact. Some say that they were Native Indians, but most of us know that they were black. And in true measure of the arrogance of that coward Columbus and his crew, he thought he was supreme being because his skin was white and his eyes blue. So he chose to bully on the dark of people who look. Just like you, not with his fist, because he and his crew were punks. So they put together cool weapons that dispense harmful pellets that were made out of junk. Hence the evolution of history which you have to know. Only in America. Some black folks be beaten without really showing our dissatisfaction. Only in America. Could a black person's existence be reduced to a fraction? And the world today has changed in such a way that perplexes Only me. Only in America are some of our spiritual leaders finding little boys sexy, and our young men are raping our women in dark alleys, removing underdeveloped embryos and fetuses from pregnant bellies. America, as we know it, is an absolute mess. Can you imagine sending your child to be educated with the required uniform that includes a bulletproof vest? The Bible states that children are innocent and they have a place in heaven. The direction this country is moving. First day class history will include a pen, a book, and a semi-automatic sweat. Having classes like how to remain calm when in an elevator stuck. So we try demolition to the most important class, and it's just entitled duck. Only in America are some things humorous, but most things are for real. It seems like the smallest leisure activity has high risk or high potential of one being killed. Like going to the workplace where you earn a living, and some of us hate it because it seems so boring and plain. I know we're living in America, but really, certain events should remain fiction, like that movie Airplane or collateral damage. For those of you who don't know, I think when country leaders have animosity, they should put on gloves, step into a landmine, and go blow for blow, with the down versus Jordan, the Jordan versus Ben. All their love was killed in a battle, and this war reality will most certainly set in. Because when you don't know what you're fighting for, then how in the hell do you know when you win? It always seems like nobody, because when the war is supposedly over, we send in more troops to help out with the process of rebuilding. Only in America. Only in America. All right. Black people sniping and robbing, and black gangs are increasing, and black deaths on high rise. But our white counterparts are eating people. Put bombs in the mail and commit mass suicide. Black folk burglarizing and acting crazy at times and may throw a child up against the wall and throw an occasional silly. And our counterparts are going close to drown the kids in cars and blowing up. You see, our crimes are the lesser of evils. But yes, society paints the picture of us being menaces as they often do. But you tell me, how are you supposed to act when you're forced to live in a foreign country after somebody stole you? Beat you, starved you, raped you, labeled you a beast, lynched and left us hanging from trees in the middle of southern streets for hundreds of years. Kept us ignorant and taught us lies. We persevered through the grace of God, and toward you, you want us to act civilized. And white folks may say, "Geez, why are you living in the past?" And I say, "Man, kiss my ass. You can keep your little peck out of our black women. Got black folks white, damn near transparent like glass. Only." If you would look into my eyes, I can think. I just can't see why we are so content with dwelling in what they call home of the brave and the land of the free. You see, I think we all need to visit the local department of psychiatry because our founding fathers were some high-powered cowards, actually misconstruing bravery for slavery and blew the whip captivity. But if you notice, it was only to a select group of men, black men. 
So I pledge allegiance to my own people, refuting all oppression, division, segregation, and miscegenation. Quickly instilling dedication and exuberation to our beautiful population. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Now when I hear rhetoric like that, I just sit back and laugh. Not a percentage of black lynchings in today's world, a kindergartner can do that math. Now that number will be zero unless the black man walks down the wrong path. Then it immediately increases to 100%. And figures like that mean one thing and one thing only. That the black man will be getting lynched. I don't believe in affirmative action. That's straight from y'all. President, no pocket piss, no place to sit. Due to white arrogance and the national deficit. Countless press conferences telling us on the war is where all our tax dollars are being spent. Will tell George and Laura to scoop their asses over. Black folks moving to White House and we ain't got no rent. When expressed in a comic, sometimes I feel like I'm losing my soul. Just to eradicate the glory under the windows stain that was made. But through it all, the black race stayed on their knees, praying, seeking strength from our Creator. Say spiritual hymns and dance praying for those far and near. Eventually, our freedom was granted, letting us know that our Lord and Savior has an end on the plantation. Our people were sold and whipped. The Holy scriptures out of fire. And that book was delivered. They lost when they were sucking and touching on our black women and breaking up our black families. So white folks did. Shed a tear. And on our American currency, it reads, and God we trust. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a discrepancy here. Lord, in your word, it states that vengeance is mine. And the person whom we shall fear is you. But there are some humans roaming this earth, taking lives from the whole script. Basically acting it. like them. If you knew what's in my you. heart, you break it. Lord, my Can tongue confessing my knees how bowing, I bowing, giving praise to you. The world These so imposters creating a monster. If you look into my eyes, I can fake it. And if you knew what's in my heart, you would break it. And they still haven't received that clue. Sometimes I feel like I'm losing my soul. The higher power. Once they feel the fight, then you, and you. My eyes have seen the truth. My eyes have my seen the truth. Felt the truth. My, my eyes have seen the truth. Speaks now. My heart has felt the truth. Speaks now. My mouth. It speaks the truth. People have to put up with. Who cares about what a poor black man has to face every day in a country and a culture controlled by rich white? People, somebody missed that. You got nervous because we got some white members here. I am still in Bible country. I am still in the text. Jesus was a poor black man who lived in a country and who lived in a culture that was controlled by rich white people. The Romans were rich. The Romans were Italians, which means they were European, which means they were white. And the Romans ran everything in Jesus' country. It just came to me with, with, with within the past few weeks, y'all, why so many folk are hating on Barack Obama. He doesn't fit the model. He ain't white. He ain't rich. And he ain't privileged. Hillary fits the mold. Europeans fit the mold. Giuliani fits the mold. Rich white men fit the mold. Hillary never had a cab whiz past her and not pick her up because her skin was the wrong color. Hillary never had to worry about being pulled over in her car as a black man driving in the wrong... I am sick of Negroes who just do not get it. Hillary was not a black boy raised in a single parent home. Barack was. Barack knows what it means to be a black man living in a country and a culture that is controlled by rich white people. Hillary can never know that. Hillary ain't never been called a nigger. Hillary has never had her people defined as non-person. Hillary ain't had to work twice as hard just to get accepted by the rich white folk who run everything or to get a passing grade when you know you are smarter than that C student sitting in the White House. Oh, I am so glad that I got a God who knows what it is to be a poor black 
man in a country and a culture that is controlled by and run by rich white people. He taught me, Jesus did, how to love my enemies. Jesus taught me how to love the hell out of my enemies and not be reduced to their level of hatred, bigotry, and small-mindedness. Hillary ain't never had her own people say she wasn't white enough. Jesus had his own people siding with the enemy. That's why I love Jesus, y'all. He never let their hatred dampen his hope. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing his words. It sounds like